Now, if you have a neighbor that has a pet that you don't like, like a cat that keeps pooping in your garden, you could maybe leave this out in a little dish for that cat. Hey, welcome to GT Canada. It's cold, it's winter, and you need to know if your car is okay in this cold weather. Have you checked your coolant level and your coolant freezing point lately? If you haven't, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it right now. So the first thing you need is one of these. This is called a antifreeze coolant tester or a hydrometer. I believe it's called a hydrometer and it works very simple. You just stick it in the coolant and suck it up into this area here and it'll tell you what the freezing point is. So I'm gonna go find where he put the keys so I can pop the hood and check this. And you may remember if you watched some of my other videos, I talked about how my children live the $500 car challenge every day. This car was purchased two years ago for $500. It needed a front CV axle and a new lower ball joint. That's why the CV axle broke because the ball joint split and broke the CV axle. It costed us less than $100 to get the parts at the wrecker. And this car has been running trouble free for two years until last spring when his coolant hose split and dumped all his coolant everywhere. He drove it for at least a couple days with no coolant in the car because he didn't realize why it was steaming and running kind of funny. So we got a new coolant hose from the wrecker. We put that on and at the time, since it was spring, we just put water back in it. So I know that his coolant freezing point is gonna be quite high, meaning it will freeze in the Canadian winter if we don't do something about it. But I'm gonna show you how to check that on this car, and it's the same process on any car that ever existed with an internal combustion engine anywhere, ever. I got my hydrometer, I'm gonna pop open the coolant. You wanna make sure the car is not hot when you do this. You pop that open like that, and I'm gonna squeeze all the air out of it and then stick it in so that I can fill it all the way, just like that. And then you just look at the number here. So the freezing point on this is currently awful. So it reads in two scales, Fahrenheit and degrees Celsius. So this is gonna freeze at 10 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 12 degrees Celsius. And we need it to be good to for like minus 40. So this is not gonna do. What we're gonna have to do is drain some of the existing coolant out and add some coolant. I've got new coolant right here. So this coolant is concentrate. You want to make sure that you buy concentrated coolant. The reason is we need to get coolant out of here and add straight coolant to the water that's already here. Now if you look at the color of that, you can't judge this on the color alone. The color of that looks good. And there's coolant in there for sure, but that color is deceiving. You may think you're good if it's a nice green color. Well, this is definitely a nice green color. And you just saw that even though it's green, it's still only good to about minus 12. So we're gonna drain out some of the coolant that's in there now. And we're gonna add the concentrated and then we'll check what our temperature rating is at that point. So on this car, it actually has a coolant drain cock, which is not a dirty word. It's, it's a legit word for this. I don't know if you can see it down there. It's right, right down there on the radiator. I'm gonna show you from the bottom. So there it is right there. You can see the hole in the bottom. So you should be able to turn that by hand with your fingers and then the coolant will drain out the bottom. All I wanna do is drain the radiator completely and then fill it back up with the concentrated coolant and that should be enough to up increase our freezing point. So you can see it actually stopped almost right where I want it. So now I've got a jug of antifreeze that is good to minus 10 and I have a jug of antifreeze that's good to minus 50. So I'm gonna add this into here and what's left will mix together so that it lowers the freezing point of the coolant. Now I can't just check the temperature rating of this because it's straight coolant. I need to start the car, get it up to operating temperature with the cap off, and then check it again with this just to make sure that I'm within my target range. I believe I will be, but it's always good to double check. You wanna make sure when you're starting the car, if you are in a garage, 
that you open the door up to let the exhaust out. Otherwise you will die in the garage. So don't die in your garage. Open the door when you're running your car. Now also, while this car is warming up, you may be wondering, well, what do I do with this jug of antifreeze? Well, I'm not gonna tell you about what you should do with this jug, but I will tell you what you shouldn't do. You should not leave it open in a place where an animal that you care about could get it. It's very sweet, they love the smell, and they will drink it all up. If they drink it all up, they will probably die. They will get very sick and probably die. Do not leave it out for pets that you care about. Now, if you have a neighbor that has a pet that you don't like, like a cat that keeps pooping in your garden, you could maybe leave this out in a little dish for that cat. Just make sure your pets are kept away from it. Obviously, I'm joking. Don't actually leave this out for your neighbor's pet unless you want to kill your neighbor's pet. And in that case, read the disclaimer down below about how I accept no responsibility for whatever it is you decide to do with your milk jug full of old antifreeze. Just know that it's bad for animals. You make a smart choice yourself. You don't need me to tell you what to do with it. You'll know when your thermostat's open by looking at that temperature gauge right there. So right now it is off of the cold mark, which is good, that means it's warming up. In a few minutes here, it should come up to about the halfway. That's when you know that the thermostat has opened and the coolant is all mixing. You can see how much nicer green that is now. But I can stick this in just to get a good idea what I'm looking at here. You can see now it's rated for closer to minus 43. So this car is now good for up to minus 40. I don't have to worry about the engine freezing. You don't have to burp the engine. You don't have to run the air out because we did not drain all the coolant. So the engine had the thermostat closed still, which means all the coolant was still in the engine. All we did was drain the radiator and filled the radiator back up and then started it. That means there's nowhere for air to get trapped in the first place. If there is a little bit of air, it will self burp through its natural system, which will have no issues. You do want to keep an eye on your temperature gauge just in case if you do see it spike all of a sudden, that means you do have an air bubble and you do need to burp it. If you keep an eye on that, you'll be good for sure but you should not have to worry about burping it if you do it the way that we just did here. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of the other videos up here and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you again.